Tex-Mex soup with Costco rotisserie chicken. To begin, we're going to use the carcass of the rotisserie chicken. Now, you've already done all the shredding, and what are you left with? You're left with all the bones and skin and all that stuff. Well, what I'm going to suggest, you do not have to do this if you do not want to, but we are going to use Costco's chicken stock as our base. To juice it up a bit, we are going to use, this is what's left. Put it in our insert, our pasta insert of our pot. If you don't have the situation going on, you can always put it all in one pot and strain it out. That's kind of time consuming. If you want quick and easy, this is the way to go. Or just leave this out. Don't do this. This will be just fine. I'm just deepening the flavor and I'm also utilizing every bit of that rotisserie chicken. First things first, I'm going to add all of the leftovers from pulling the chicken, put it in the pot. Okay, in goes the chicken, carcass, and next I'm just gonna roughly chop this onion that I just got but it looks like it's old. Unfortunately, sometimes you don't get lucky. I would add carrot and celery, but I do not have that at the moment. So add that in if you do have it. If you have fresh herbs, add that in. This is like cooking 101. Easy. That's the way I like to cook. Fast, easy, quick. And then simply pour in your chicken stock. And what I'm going to do is stick this on the stove, bring it up to a simmer, let it simmer away, and after it's simmered for a while, and the chicken carcass bones and all of those good juices have released into the liquid sufficiently, I will then remove all of that. For some reason, this, the lid did not puncture it all the way, so it took a while. Or that. Oh, much better. That opened up smoothly. I will say, this is gonna be more like steaming this and bringing it down because it's not in the liquid. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Can you see? So let's get this on the stove, get it simmering, get it going. After this simmers for a good, what, hour or so, that is when we will come back to show you what ingredients to add next to make this delicious Tex-Mex soup. That's what I call it anyway. Two hours have passed. This is what it looks like in there. All the juiciness of all the flavoring of the bones and chicken and whatnot are now in the soup. Now the soup is even. Oh, it smells good too, by the way. It smells really good. Look at the color of that broth now. Now that we have our broth already simmering, ready to go, we're going to add our shredded chicken. This isn't the entire chicken because we have two more dishes we're gonna make with this rotisserie chicken. Stay tuned. So here's the shredded chicken. We're gonna add that in to this delicious broth and let it soak those juices up. We're going to add all the ingredients and this is the easy part if you just did the straight chicken stock you would just go from your simmering chicken stock to adding all these ingredients and these come from Costco you saw us shopping for this we will add two cans of black beans I'm gonna drain them and rinse them and also from Costco two iced tomatoes with chilies I'm gonna add a bit of oregano Is oregano and I'm going to add paprika. This is smoked paprika. Next I will add cumin. So basically all the flavoring components that I put in my uh, taco seasoning I'm putting in this soup. So it's kind of like a taco flavoring. Southwestern Tex-Mex flavoring. One of our favorite chili peppers, I ordered this online. This is ground ancho chili pepper, and I just put it in my Costco spice jar. It's not as spicy as other chili peppers, 
so all the kids can enjoy without it being too spicy. Parsley. Give it a stir. I'm going to turn the heat up because I had it down and simmer so that all of this can get heated up again. And then just dump in your cans of tomatoes with the chilies, the green chilies. Next, the black beans. I just drained and rinsed. Give it a good stir. You can add corn. I'm not adding corn, but what I'm going to add is some thawed chopped spinach to add a little more health value. I'm gonna add half the bag and see. Doesn't it look delicious? We have these baby bell peppers we use for snacking. I'm gonna cut some and we're gonna add some to the soup and some to our second chicken dish. And you'll soon see in just a minute. Let's get these chopped up quickly because it was kind of like a I forgot type of thing. <laughs> I wanted to put these in the soup and I wanna use them in the quesadillas. So I'm just gonna give them a quick rough chop, chop the seeds if you want. They've already been washed. And add some to the soup for flavor and also color. It's, it's fun to have a colorful dish, isn't it? Colorful food. They say to eat the rainbow, so, you know, we try. Let me get my handy dandy Rachel Ray food mover to the soup to add more flavor, more color, why not? All right, so what I'm going to do is finish chopping more of these, probably not this entire thing, and get to our second chicken dish, which will be a great side to the soup. All right, so let's move back to the stove and let me show you this delicious, chicken quesadilla with simply the rotisserie chicken, these bell peppers, cheese, and just for extra flavor, I'm going to add the same, almost this, all the same spices that I added to the soup. They'll tie together, they'll be delicious. Let's go to the stove. All right, I've been preheating the cast iron skillet. It is nice and hot. We're going to be using these flour tortillas from Costco. First thing I'm going to do though, is add a bit of fat, whatever your choice of fat is. This is ghee. First, let's add our tortilla. We use any shredded cheese. You know Costco has plenty of shredded cheese. This is sharp cheddar that we got at one of our Kroger hauls. And a little bit of that shredded rotisserie chicken. As much as you want, as little as you want, you decide. Some of those bell peppers that we sliced up. A pinch of the chili powder. A pinch of the cumin or cumin. A pinch of oregano. It's just slightly flavored. And then we'll just add a bit more cheese on top because, you know, quesadillas, we like them to be extra cheesy, y'all. So cheese it up. Put the top on. Let it sit for a second. In the meantime, the over on this side is the soup. It has come up to a simmer. I'll give it a quick stir. It looks delicious. We'll let it just be, and it'll be perfect for when our quesadillas are ready. Let's give it a flip. If you're finding you need some extra heat, but you don't want it, and you want it to get warmed up, just add a tent, a foil tent, and that way the hot air will circulate, and 
melt everything inside. And while I make these, just a tip, if you're making a lot like we do, have a warm oven so that you can just transfer these to a warm oven and they'll stay nice and warm until you're ready. This is cilantro. We're gonna chop up some cilantro real quick. Not everyone in the family likes cilantro, so this will be on the side as a garnish and anyone that wants to add it to this delicious meal, whether in their soup or even with their quesadilla. It's gonna be delicious. Ooh, nice and crunchy. This one is done. Let's cut it open and I will show you what it looks like inside, y'all. Mm. Ooh, that's super crunchy. That's what you want. Okay, friends, this is tonight's dinner. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you try it at home because it is delicious. They go together real well. You dip your quesadilla into that soup. Mmm, you can add cheese, you can add sour cream. Costco's rotisserie chicken makes so many delicious dishes. I use it a lot, and these are two of the fun meals that we make at home. Aiden is going to now be the taste tester of this yummy meal. Low on it, it's hot. Cilantro-y, spicy, but yummy. Okay. Is this tomato? No, it's bell pepper. Great. Wow. It's tomato. Mm, yummy. Okay, your turn, Ethan. Mm. That blowing. All the soup off. What do you think? Mm. Mm. Thank you for being my taste testers. They're enjoying their quesadillas. And we're going to hit the table and all eat dinner together. I hope that you enjoy these recipes. Next up is tomorrow's dinner. Let's get to it now. Welcome to another day of cooking. This recipe is easy, but takes a little more prep, a little more time. But I tell you, it's gonna pay off because they're delicious. These are spinach Alfredo rolls. We got the Alfredo sauce at Costco, so you do not have to make that from scratch. First up, we are making lasagna rolls. Henceforth, we need the lasagna noodles, the ones that I picked up at Kroger. If you didn't catch that quick little haul, you can check it out right here or here. There'll be a link. Also, by the way, if you've watched this far, you watched the last recipe and you're gonna watch this one, and you're new, welcome, my name is Ruby. I hope that you join the Chain Gang family by clicking that subscribe button, ringing that bell so you'll always be notified of every new video. We do lots of things on this channel as a family. We also do a lot of shopping hauls and we love food. So things related to food are going to be on this channel as well. So cooking, eating, and if you haven't yet seen, we went to Japan recently and enjoyed the cuisine there. It was delicious. Anywho, first up, we're going to boil the lasagna noodles. Just follow the directions. We're gonna do this first, and then we will assemble. Simple as that. We have the noodles done. Now it's time to make the filling that we will be putting on the noodles. We will then roll the noodles with the filling, creating this awesome, delicious dinner. Now let's begin. First off, you can either use garlic powder if you wanna make it super easy, or you can take one of these. Take a garlic, smash it, 
And then you have the clothes. Now, the trick to getting the skin off is smashing it. That will release its oils and the skin will come off easily. You take your knife, you take the heel of your hand. Don't cut yourself, don't cut yourself. Maybe it would be good without my, all my jewelry, actually. So let, let's remove the jewelry. Did you hear that pop? That released the juices, and look at that. Easy peasy. Comes right out. And I'm going to smash it even more. Then you're just gonna go like this, run your knife through it, make it really small. This is gonna add a tremendous amount of extra flavor. Again, if you wanna skip this, Go right ahead and add a teaspoon or however much garlic powder you want to add. Make sure it's garlic powder and not garlic salt because you don't want that extra salt. So we're gonna do this with a bunch of garlic cloves. Let's do that now. Fast motion, mark it, set, go. Alrighty then, in this bowl, we're gonna add our first ingredient, which will be the Costco rotisserie chicken. In this two cup jar here, you need two cups. From the soup, we used half of this bag of spinach. I'm now gonna use the other half in this recipe. Before I add it, it's thawed. I'm actually going to dump it onto a paper towel and squeeze out the extra liquid because you don't want all that water in this. It's gonna water down all of that good flavor. So take some paper towel, dump your thawed chopped spinach. There could be a better way to do this, but this is, this is what I do. And I will take this over to the sink and I will squeeze. See all that liquid? That's what you don't want. All right, once you have squeezed it dry, here we have it, a lot of liquid came out. And you have this little ball of, <laughs> this ball of chopped spinach. Doesn't look like much, but do you know how much spinach this is? It's a lot. So break that up into here. It's still a little bit, it's not completely thawed. It still has ice on it. That's okay. Next, add your shredded mozzarella cheese. If I was just cooking this myself, I'd probably just eyeball it, but for demonstration purposes, here's the cup, add that in. And then some parm, we get it already grated. I have bought the big chunk, which is an amazing deal at Costco, but if you don't wanna grate it, like I didn't feel like grating a half a cup, so I got this instead. Easy peasy, half a cup of the parm. A little extra won't hurt. Next, let's add some salt, more flavor. This is why you don't use garlic salt because you're gonna add the salt yourself. One teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. This one I'm gonna eyeball because I can't technically do this practically in a half a teaspoon measurement. So fresh ground pepper, eyeball it, you can add more later, whatever. If you want extra garlic flavor, add some garlic powder with this, but we're just gonna do our minced garlic. Let's mix it all up before we add the final ingredient of this filling, which will be our Alfredo sauce purchased from Costco. a cup of our Alfredo sauce. When I cook, I guess I take after my mama because she doesn't really measure much. I don't really measure when I cook. When I bake, yes, I do measure. When I cook, I don't usually measure. Unless I'm trying, if I'm trying a recipe for the very first time, I will measure because it's new. But once you get to know a recipe and you know the flavors you like or don't like, then you can Cooking is pretty flexible that way. Now, with the remaining sauce, you can warm this up in a small bowl or whatever, and you can use it for dipping later. So mix this up. Ooh, it looks so delicious. I think I need to add some more pepper though, because that probably wasn't even a half teaspoon. 
And there you have it, that's the filling. So now we get to spread it on the noodles, roll it up, put it in our casserole dish. That's the next step. What you're going to do with your now cooked lasagna noodle is cut it in half. So cut all of your noodles in half because we're gonna make smaller rolls. Eyeball the half mark. Oh, huh. so this guy. Megan's going to help roll these. So you're going to see Megan's magical hands come into play. I'm just gonna take a spoonful of your filling, mm -hmm. place it on the noodle, spread it out as evenly as you possibly can. And we're going to make cinnamon roll style, a nice little spiral. Here's our casserole dish. I'm going to, look, it's kind of marked up because it's been used, but it's clean, y'all. And then just tightly roll. Not too tightly, otherwise it's gonna squish all of that goodness out. This is what it should look like. Ooh, look, it actually squished a little bit, so tuck it in, tuck it in. There it is, right there. And then when you place it into your casserole dish, you're going to place it upright like this. And then soon this whole dish will be filled with our spirals. So let's get rolling. All right, friends, isn't this beautiful? I think it looks beautiful. We're going to top this with cheese and put it in the oven. 350 degrees for 20 minutes until the cheese starts to brown. We're going to top this with some mozzarella cheese. Make sure every roll has cheese. And then a little bit of parm. A little bit of pepper. Now we pop this delicious, delicious casserole, pop it into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. The first extraction is always the hardest. <gasps> okay, little guy's gonna taste test this delicious, delicious casserole. There you go, bud. What do you think? One million star. Wow. Thank you. Aiden, your turn. Next up is Aido potato. A big one. Okay. friends I hope that you try this amazing recipe it is delicious it smells good look at that the spiral with all that goodness inside it's kid approved try it at home friends I hope you enjoyed all of these recipes using Costco rotisserie chicken they're all amazing all kid approved we love them all we've had them over the years, many times. I hope that you try either one or all of them. And if you do, comment below which one's your favorite. If you have any suggestions on recipes you'd like us to try, we love trying new recipes and new food cuisines. So send them our way. Yeah? He's ready to eat this food. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in this beautiful world. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we send you our love and appreciation. Bye-bye. Mwah. <laughs>